I was a speaker of the House of Representatives at Roosevelt High School, and I was getting ready to run for student body president, but there was an episode where I got blamed for something that was said, which I hadn't said, and most people knew it, but as was often done in those days, just uh, with a sweep of the hand, they would eliminate all kind of kids from participation. I don't know if that fell more heavily on the Armenian kids at Roosevelt High School or not, but I was always interested in student government and uh, liked to participate and uh, liked to do things for people. I knew I was going to go away to college. I just didn't know where. And I was intrigued by USC's football team. So I, uh, I uh, applied and was accepted and came down to Los Angeles to USC, which was the opening of an entirely new world for me. Well, first of all, it was so large, and I was down here without a car, so I was bumming rides, even to go back and forth to Fresno. I think with great fondness of Helen Schramm, who used to drive me back because she was a Fresno girl going to USC, and the Greyhound bus. And if I was able to get the five o'clock bus in Hollywood, it would only stop in one place, Bakersfield. If I wasn't able to get it, I'd have to get the Moyer stage, and it stopped about 10 places going up to Fresno in all kind of small little towns, you know, Visalia, Delano, uh, and would get in late at night in Fresno. But I had to do it because I had a job in Fresno as a clerk at the Mayfair Markets, and this was important to me to store away enough money during vacations when I could work in the summer to have a decent life uh, during the school year <coughs> at USC.